For latest astrology video subscribe Astrodify channel and press this bell icon to get notified when a new video goes live. Hello everybody welcome to Astrodify today we are going to discuss that what happens when Saturn is in the sign of Capricorn in anybody's horoscope. So let's start this video. If you want to book a consultation for yourself you can go on this website the link is given in the description so we are going to discuss regarding saturn in capricorn today so first of all anybody who is familiar with uh, jyotish they know that uh, saturn controls two signs one is capricorn and one is aquarius so this is own sign of saturn however the nature and intensity of the results it actually depends on the placement of moon and the lagna lord and the other yugas in the chart because see Saturn is stays in one sign for two and a half years. So the results obviously are going to be quite varied and uh, quite distinct from person to person. So you must see that what is the condition of moon, how it is placed and what is the condition of the ascendant lord that is the lagna lord in the chart and what other yogas are there in uh, what Saturn is uh, making, what kind of yogas it is making, how it is placed. You must see these things in order to judge the nature and intensity of the results uh, in the life of the person. Okay. Now the next thing here is that depending on moon and the Lagna Lord placement and Jupiter. Jupiter is important because Saturn is responsible for our actions what we do. It means it is the karma karak planet. Karma means the actions which a person is performing. But Jupiter is the planet of dharma, dharma karak. So dharma means what kind of actions will you do? What kind of uh, belief and ideology and principles what a person has? That will motivate the person in order to do certain kind of actions in life. That's why how you are going to perform that depends on Jupiter. So you must also see Jupiter along with Moon and Lagna Lord. So depending on these three, if they are well placed in the chart, then it makes person quite practical, realistic in nature and mature uh, in behavior because Saturn represents these things and particularly Capricorn is a sign, uh, is an earth sign. It, uh, the other sign is Aquarius which is an air sign. We will discuss that in the next video. But Earth sign means connecting with the earth, connecting with what is right now, right here in front of me. I am not going to think here and there and uh, uh, losing out my uh, mind in uh, fantasies. That is not what Capricorn is and that is w uh, not what Saturn is. So when Saturn is placed here and moon uh, is similarly placed, then it gives person a really practical approach, a realistic nature, a, ration, uh, a rational and a skeptical behavior, logical and scientific nature in order to deal with things. So a person is quite uh, uh, what you can say uh, analytical and scientific and rational in uh, their thinking. Uh, so th that is a kind of trait which, uh, uh, which Saturn can give here. Also it makes person quite action oriented means person believes in doing rather, the, uh, rather than just sitting and contemplating and not doing anything and just hoping everything and keeping it all on the uh, what you can say all on fate okay that that kind of person is not going to have saturn in capricorn so saturn in capricorn says that you it's okay that you believe in something you have a faith in something that's fine but if you want something uh, 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 in reality if you want some uh, desire some uh, thought to convert in reality you must work for it so it makes person uh, what you can say motivated to perform actions rather than just uh, sitting idle and contemplating all day so contemplation is good saturn says that i will support you there but if you are not going to work if you are not going to channelize your energy and uh, put it in reality in in uh, in converting those uh, ambitions in reality then uh, uh, sorry to say i'm not going to give you anything because saturn is a planet of hard labor so it builds up it gives those qualities which are required so it makes person action oriented automatically competitive committed uh, dutiful decisive uh, disciplined uh, person is quite 
uh, what you can say organized and likes planning and structure and uh, it's quite persistent because uh, Mars and Saturn are planets which work incessantly until and unless they are not going to achieve what they have in mind they are not going to stop so that is what Saturn is it is uh, uh, ultimate persistency uh, goal orientation a stubborn attitude it makes person quite patient uh, in nature because Saturn is a slow moving planet so it says that okay uh, but uh, uh, if you are not going to get it in uh, one year okay take take some more time just follow it i will give you so so person also has that kind of mentality okay i will uh, if it had not been uh, going well in the first attempt maybe i should improve myself and wait some more and put some more energy and then i will get what i want so a patient attitude is there uh, self improvement behavior is there person tries to see that what he is doing wrong so that he can improve the next time and get success the next thing here is automatically the person will be hard worker however saturn is a reserved planet you also have to see the moon but saturn generally if it has prominent aspect on personality in this case then it makes person quite a bit introvert and reserved in nature uh, and person will have a limited communication whatever is required person will be highly professional if uh, uh, they will not indulge and engage in any unnecessary uh, social talks that is not going to be there if saturn is having prominent influence on personality only then otherwise not the next thing is that uh, capricorn is a sign of ambitions uh, sign of uh, uh, material reputation public image uh, position power authority uh, leadership so person naturally has inclination to get these things in life and saturn is a planet of service it is a service oriented planet so a uh, person has a notion if we all if these planets like moon and jupiter they are well placed then person uses uh, the power the authority first of all they will have in mind that okay i need to gain some power i need to gain some authority i need to reach a good position only then i can serve the people or the areas or uh, do the things which i have in mind so uh, because capricorn is a sign of authority so person has a kind of mentality that okay i need to do some things i need to bring some change i have some notions in mind but i am also practical and logical i know that how system works so i am not the person who is going to be changing the system all alone huh? so saturn makes person a team uh, what you can say believing in a team uh, leadership so person knows the value of people of groups that I am not the person, I, I cannot do anything alone. I need some other people in order to materialize my ambition. So th that is the thing what Saturn promotes here. It makes person a good leader. And that's why uh, in order to do some good things in society or anywhere or in any capacity whatsoever, small or big, it doesn't matter. Saturn provides a distinct, uh, what you can say, uh, uh, thought process that if I need to do something, I need to gain some power first, only then I can do something concrete. Otherwise, I will be crushed. I will be having a lot of problems from the people above me. That is the thing here. Now, another thing, Saturn makes person quite law abiding here. If other planets, specifically Moon and Jupiter are well placed, if they are badly placed, then it will not be the situation. Then it also gives person a strategic and tactful approach to things so they take uh, uh, approach towards things in a very practical uh, behavior uh, make a strategy make proper planning uh, have a tactful uh, approach and then move on that kind of behavior is seen also it makes person somewhat secretive not as secretive as, as saturn in uh, uh, this uh, aquarius but still saturn is not a very social planet so still somewhat secretive and uh, if uh, moon and jupiter are strong it makes person quite reliable in nature uh, but you have to see other yogas i cannot say that okay your saturn is here so you will be reliable no that is not the criteria you must see the other combinations but saturn in this sign if other planets are well placed it is a very good position for uh, making a person reliable and trustworthy so you must see the other combinations of course then it also makes person quite a bit uh, conservative uh, somewhat traditional and somewhat orthodox sometime because see 
what is opposite to capricorn it is cancer cancer is your home cancer is your values cancer is your uh, motherly love your upbringing what you have learned so far from your childhood that is what cancer is so saturn is a planet which dislikes change however it controls change also but saturn does not want things changing a lot so here it makes person somewhat uh, uh, what you can say uh, conservative it does not mean uh, uh, in a negative sense person wants to conserve the original ideology the uh, the old way of uh, uh, what you can say a bringing uh, the family culture uh, the religion the societal culture they want to uh, have that kind of uh, moralistic and ethical uh, upbringing given to the future generations also so that's why it makes person somewhat conservative in behavior uh, and traditional in approach uh, so uh, that is a good thing not a very bad one however if uh, other combinations are not favoring it can make a person quite a bit rigid a quite bit of fundamentalist in approach and a bigot nature as well it can give that but you have to see uh, the placement of moon and uh, the lagna lord there so these are some uh, characteristics and traits of saturn in capricorn other than that this particular placement if other yogas are favorable some good dhan yogas are there the other planets are well placed then it, it is a very good situation for material growth and success however this growth and success will come uh, gradually with time after continuous work some struggles and delays will be there because saturn is a planet of hard work saturn does not believe in fate saturn does not say that okay you just sit idle your uh, fate is very strong your luck is very strong means bhagya and uh, i will give you all opportunities you just have to work a little and that's fine no saturn here uh, even if it is in its own sign and i always say no matter how well placed your saturn is you have to work hard the the well placed saturn even has to work more hard than a badly placed saturn because Uh, the thing is that saturn is now going to give you very good results in life but all those results are going to be there only and only if you, if you work otherwise it won't be there so saturn naturally gives an uh, uh, gives a uh, characteristic feature that person has no problem in working person believes that uh, uh, if i'm not going to work i'm not going to get anything so the thing is that person is already having a nature of uh, a hard worker so they are not afraid of doing uh, uh, what you can say work in their life and facing challenges the thing is that uh, if they are uh, doing it good in the right direction of course saturn gives quite good material growth and progress and fulfillment of material desires in life so not fully dependent on luck aspect here next thing is that if uh, strong spiritual yogas are there in the chart okay then this saturn which is a uh, which is particularly a very favorable placement for material life material desires now can also give good results in terms of spiritual life how because it enhances the keen observation it uh, gives crude practicality to person crude practicality means the person realizes the transcendental impermanent nature of the things in the world so crude practical approach detachment these uh, qualities will be there in the person's nature and these qualities itself motivate the person to seek self realization with the uh, uh, with various uh, uh, what you can say paths so it can be through gyan yoga the path of knowledge or raj yoga the path of dhyan or meditation but in this case saturn does not make person superstitious uh, fearful uh, conservative and it does not give orthodox beliefs but this is a very rare condition most of the cases saturn gives the generalized results what i have talked so far but this condition in this condition uh, there will be few cases where this can be seen huh? but this is a very uh, uh, good situation for a spiritual progress uh, in life very uh, favorable for that if other yogas are such uh, in the chart this is going to be a excellent situation for spiritual life now 
for various professions if we talk about if saturn is responsible for the career of the person in the chart then it can be uh, favorable for various areas like government jobs management sector any kind of management in general uh, administration politics law judiciary social service uh, defense services all kinds of defense services uh, police services forestry banking insurance hr agriculture uh, leather industry uh, uh, and uh, the land real estate or infrastructure or construction sector oil and gas sector coal iron steel mining machinery manufacturing industrial sector all these things are good all kind of technological and uh, engineering related professions are favorable for that uh, for this position uh, healthcare sector uh, can be seen particularly like biomedical or radiology or anything which is more connected to machinery very favorable even oncology can be seen then uh, it is good for uh, research and analysis and scientists can be seen with this particular alignment uh, then uh, uh, transportation industry whether it is uh, particularly it is uh, uh, since it is earth science so we can say the um, the land transport is much more uh, prominent as compared to water and air but in general any kind of work in the transportation sector particularly land transportation is quite good then uh, geology geography history these subjects uh, archaeology mythology are also very good for this placement of saturn and uh, it uh, for creative fields uh, like music saturn is considered good for music here uh, music tv radio media and uh, sports and uh, of course saturn is good for philosophy and monasticism as well because saturn is a yogi it is a monk so these are the various uh, career profiles which are good for saturn in capricorn now we will see that uh, if saturn is in this sign and in the chart if uh, uh, moon and the lagna lord and the saturn and the jupiter they are weak or afflicted or making some bad combinations then what kind of results can happen of course some negative traits will be there some uh, uh, malefic results will be there in life uh, but you also have to see entire chart do not come to conclusion just by uh, seeing one alignment of saturn so i am just discussing all wide permutations and combinations possible for saturn in capricorn but you must check that what kind of uh, yogas other planets are making in the chart Uh, only then come to conclusion but uh, still we will discuss that what kind of a re negative result saturn can bring here if moon lagna lord and jupiter are badly placed and other yogas are malefic in the chart then it can uh, increase lethargy first of all person always feels quite uh, what you can say reckless restless and lethargic all the time then uh, untidy untidiness can be seen disorganized and indisciplined lifestyle procrastination excessive procrastination uh, lack of will power no competitive spirit lot of desires but you are not able to uh, work at all means you have desires uh, uh, there to achieve something but when uh, when it comes to uh, putting down efforts in reality you are not able to do it so no concentration just keeping uh, all the things at halt starting things and leaving things in between this is what saturn is uh, it can give these kind of results in this scenario and it of course what will happen it will bring high struggle because as i said in order to attain and achieve results from saturn you must work hard there is no other option available literally no other option available you need to work hard otherwise forget any kind of result from saturn so if you are not going to work hard and saturn demands that what will happen there will be struggle no fulfillment of desires depression delay obviously hard work and no results these will be there pessimistic behavior can be seen materially it can bring loans and debts it can bring uh, any kind of uh, other financial instabilities career instabilities unemployment can be seen uh also it bring it gives narrow mindedness extremely fundamentalist orthodox and superstitious nature uh people who are just uh, 
blindly following some cult some tradition some religion without knowing what the things are that can be seen extreme corruption selfish nature opportunistic behavior uh, cruelty uh, and a sycophant kissass nature can be seen with this so this is what saturn is it can uh, if you say that my saturn is in uh, capricorn in own sign and i don't have good results perhaps you have to see other combinations you have to see how other planets are placed that's why i always lay heavy emphasis on the entire horoscope because just one planetary placement is not going to describe you you have to see the other combinations so this can be the reason and obviously what the negative traits i have discussed people are facing these things and still when i say that okay saturn you will see the chart you will say that okay saturn is in its own sign then why the hell i am facing all these problems the reason is you have to see the placement of moon you have to see what kind of yoga saturn is making if it is badly placed of course it will bring negative nature so what kind of negative nature will be there that i have told you with respect to health also it can bring a lot of problems particularly related to bones musculoskeletal system mainly the bones of course hips can be affected uh, like arthritis rheumatism can be seen spinal cord problems paralysis stomach and gi disorders uh, gastrointestinal problems uh, heart problems uh, urinary system related health issues can be seen with this particular alignment uh, so these are of course negative results but as i said you have to see other combinations then come to conclusion uh, Uh, otherwise uh, not so my point here is that to explain and give information about one planetary placement in one sign good and bad both so i have given you that i have shared my view point up on saturn in capricorn good aspect as well as bad aspect both so you have to see how the things are going on as per the chart of the person okay so i think that you would have understood by now how saturn behaves in capricorn sign if you are new to my channel subscribe below for more check on my website and facebook page otherwise we will meet in the next video till then goodbye and thank you